Wait, wait, go. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, we're coming to you live today. Um, we're going to go over some um, Halloween nail art, considering it's uh, the season. So, how exciting. Um, this is Miss Kim. Hi, so, Miss Kim. Kim. Hello. This is Miss Deb. Hi, Miss Deb. Hi, Miss Deb. They are both seasoned nail technicians. Um, and they are our fabulous instructors, and they are going to do your nail art demo for you today. How exciting. Okay, so uh, let's get started, lady. All right. What's the plan? We're going to do like a spooky outside kind of a scene. We're going to do spider webs and um, trees and and uh, graveyards and a little scary man. And Okay. Yay. Um, and so is this something, Miss Kim, is this something <laughs> that like... You know, your novice, somebody that's aspiring to be a nail tech. Is Absolutely. this something that they could do at Absolutely. home? Absolutely. All we're doing really is using black, white, and a little gray. It's really very simple. So is this nail polish or is this paint? No, this is just acrylic paint. It's a, um, you get it at any kind of craft store. It's water-based, so it oh. works really well. You want to kind of use it a little bit wet because if you're using it a little, um, thicker sometimes it cracks oh, okay yeah so sometimes you want to use um you want to use a little bit you can use water and just dab okay. a little in there yeah if it starts to dry out i have a little water bottle that i like to spray okay I just give it a little spritz every now and again it just depends cool beans yeah okay all right well, i'm excited how about you <laughs> so excited and you're so excited <laughs> okay all right let's get started so we already started with the white polish just, okay, to, so are there, just to get started are there some tips and tricks that you could use like or what kind of equipment and tools do you need for this um really you can use i um i should have brought it actually but i can you can even use a skewer stick to use as for dots you can crack it in half and you just take your file you just file the edge and you can have a large um thing for a dotting tool and then the other side is pointy mm -hmm. so it's a smaller dotting tool okay you can use there's some and then that's your dotting tool that you can buy you can buy that at any kind of craft stores they have different sizes from big to medium and then you flip it over you have a little smaller and then you get even smaller here okay. so those are your dotting tools but you can use a lot of different household so a toothpick would, a toothpick would work. work absolutely okay. absolutely even the sponges you can use these we use that's a bath sponge oh okay. you just cut it in little pieces and it works great okay mm -hmm. yep we'll be using that later okay all right let's get started i just you know put a little on your palette and so you don't need some special little palette doodad thing not at all yeah. this is a, a piece of paper we just cut up okay yeah, absolutely just disposable throw it in the trash Okay, so I'm just gonna wet my brush. And it's just easy, it's just kind of messy. You just want a tree. So you're gonna go up and you just over and do a little swoosh. A couple little, just kind of dragging. And then you could do like a little deal like that, a little grass, little blades that way. And then we're gonna go to the next one. And you could do, this is a spider web. So we're gonna go down the center and then you're just gonna do a cross, cross, and then the middle. And then you kinda of wanna do like little like a little C and just go on each one. Just take your time. Go in the circle, and then you're gonna do like two layers, two, maybe three, depends on how big the nail is. Obviously, the bigger the nail the more you're going to get. Mm -hmm. So I kind of like it messy, so I just kind of drag the brush through it. It makes it a little less perfect. Right. You know what I find, Miss Deb, I mean, Miss Kim, when I'm doing nail art, right, I'll get to a point where it's like super nice, and then that one last swipe, and I just jack the whole nail. Not at all. Let it dry. Let it dry, and especially with these water-based paints, you just let it dry, and you go right over top of it again. Oh. You go right over top of it again. See, we're going to do that, and we're just going to leave it because we're going to probably come back with a little gray mm -hmm. and just add a little, um, that little owl's hole in a tree. Oh. Yeah, so that's just the bigger path of your tree, and then you just come up and do just like the branch part. It's just real easy. You just drag your brush. This is super simple. So where do you get these nail art tools from? Where does all, where do you get all of these? You can from? find them honestly anywhere from um, Michaels to Sally's to Walmart. I mean, you can find a lot of these tools anywhere. And it, again, really, you can you can make a lot of it um, out of household items. Oh, okay. Really, yeah. Now this is a little kitty cat on a fence. Okay, 
So we're gonna do, actually let's do a little moon here. And here also you could take a little gray and it makes it, and then you can also use your large dotting tool. Where do you go? Okay. And then just make a little circle. Okay. And then the cat, I like to describe him as like a, um, a little teardrop. So you're going to make him round at the bottom little pointy up here and then his head I like to describe it as a football so you're gonna make a little football head oh okay like that okay and then just take your little and do some little ears this way we had a little magic hair in this brush too sometimes that will mess you up but I'll just trim that off if you guys can see that and then do a little tail And then you can go back after oh, it's dry. Cool. Yeah, you go back after it's dry. You can add little, it depends. You could do silhouettes. You can add little um, eyeballs. Mm -hmm. You can go through and add so much more stuff too. Just get creative and do, mm -hmm. you know, do whatever you want. Um, here, I think we're gonna do like a little, uh, little spooky house. So again, just kind of messy. You know, you know, nothing has to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. So look, you're gonna do a little like that. Go up here into your roof. They're saying it was really messy. cute what you just did. Oh, thanks. Oh, look at the house. Uh huh. Yeah, house. Oh my god, that was so bad. Yeah. I, I know. Yeah. I totally missed it. Just a little guy like, and then you could do a little, um, like a little graveyard. I like a little cross. See, I got magic hairs in this brush here. What are magic hairs? These little, they're like <laughs> flailing out here. See that? Oh, I see. Those two little sticks there. That's going to give you, I mean, it looks really good here, but extra texture. There you go. But sometimes when you want it to be perfect, you want to take those off. But this, this here in this case is good. And then you can make like, um, do like a little bat. Just, we're doing like silhouettes, you know, like I said, it does not have to be perfect. You're just kind of making it out. Oh, how you know, cute something is like that? that? Just really, you know, something quick and simple. And then, um, we can continue on this hand real quick and you could just do this one is a little spooky guy he's in the forest let's uh we'll start with our dotting tool for his head and then his little neck and a shoulder you come up this way. Is that a knife that you're drawing in his hand? Yeah, we're going to do a I knife. I thought so. <laughs> so here's his other hand here. And then just almost like that little slender man, that, that scary guy. But again, you just kind of, you know, mess it up a little. Don't, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know? Oh, little crazy Hi. guy. Um, <coughs> let's do, we can actually do on this guy a spider. So we'll do, take your dotting tool, just a big dot, you know, a little dot. And let's get a little bit more precise brush. This one's just a little longer. Gives you a little bit better, um, like wispies. So this is just the small part of their legs. You just do a little four flicks and then you want to make the legs out that way. Miss Deb, what are you thinking over there? I love them. I love my nails. They are, they are so in the season. Mm -hmm. They're so cute. Then this guy will do... Um... Mark likes a spider. Oh, good. <laughs> He's a little spider man, that guy. Mm -hmm. He just looks so little. Let's do him this way. Can you hear us? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, he's he, he can be tricky, this little guy. You got to kind of, this is going to be a little owl in a tree. So we're going to throw a couple tail feathers. A little dot for a head. And then his ears, you just kind of swoop from side to side a little bit like that. 
And then you can continue your tree this way. So he's looking out at you. They are so, <laughs> it's so jazzy that it's so simple. It's, it almost seems like it's too hard because it's so simple. Mm -hmm. Not at all. And if you mess up, look, it's, it don't take nothing but to swipe it off. Look at that. Oh, yep. cool. You know, honestly. And then you just redo it. That's what's great about the acrylic paints. Mm -hmm. Also, if it dries a little and you want to wipe it off, you can take your acetone. Or, or not alcohol. acetone, sorry, alcohol. Don't use acetone, and that'll suck it right off. But yeah, just a little alcohol, and it'll come off in one felt swoop. This spider web, I like to do just spooky, you know, a little scary guy. And then again, we can just do a little tree. Or, you know what, we could do another graveyard. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty. You just, whatever you want. Whatever you feel like creating. Miss Deb's the model. Yes. She's the day mm -hmm. teacher. She's a Cosmo, but she's also a nail tech. All right. Little top coat. You want to let oh. them dry a little, and then um, you can clean up around the edges. Oh, because sometimes you get a little. Uh -oh. did, you, did you hear that? No, but I've seen your face. Like, what happened? I almost got got by the fan. Oh. Okay. Little clean up. See in this area I kinda it's not my favorite. Okay, so we're just gonna go back through here. We're what don't you like about it? Um the, the tail. I don't the, the my little magic hair on my brush. I just I don't I can't like it. So we're gonna take a little white. I like the cat they say. I love the cat. Oh good. The kitty cat is like my favorite. Cute, right? Okay, see, look at this. It's too, it's too thick. This white here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add a little water, mm -hmm. and just give it a little mix this way here. So, Miss Kim, you're still in the salon, yeah? I am. And um, how many? I mean, are you pretty busy around this time of year with all of the, the different? How you know, Nevada Day is a big day here. Yes. In the valley, so I mean, it's around Halloween. We get lots of tourists in town like it's a serious business you find that you do a lot more nails nail art this time of the year absolutely it's it's probably eight out of ten people they want they want halloween oh, so wow. this could be this could even be someone that wants halloween but they just don't want to go that far Mm -hmm. You know, they just want a little something. You could do this. You, you could do this. Oh, yeah. yeah, you could even do this on your French. You mm -hmm. could just add one little kitty cat on the ring finger. Oh. You know, and then and then that's it. But see how that how easy that is just mm -hmm. to fix it up. Oh yeah. yeah I just fixed the the moon up a little and the tail because I didn't I didn't like it. And added kitty eyes. Yeah, added little eyes. You could even do one more step on these eyes here and blow them out of the water and do a little. Oh. Boom! <laughs> How Get on some cute. eyeballs. Like that. Aww. It's funny okay. once you know the steps. It's so it, simple. It, right, right. Mm -hmm. It really is. It's it's simple. Just because you're you, especially the one color. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You could do a different background also. You can instead of the white, you can do a blue like a black or a purple background or a black the background. Black yeah. Do opposite. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Like a negative. Of yes. negative. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, so all we need to do is you want to wait till they dry. It's going to come to life now. And then so it's going to pop? It's going to pop That's now. when it pops <laughs> is when you put the top coat on? The top coat, it yes. It changes everything. Okay, it's just changed. It's changed. You see it? It's, it there it is. Pop. <laughs> there it is. Hey, James. How beautiful is that? Great job, Miss Kim. Thank you. Thank you so much for how all of your you fantastic How long have you been a nail tech for? Um, I got my license in 1996. So I've been doing nails ever since then. Almost 20 years. You missed one. I love it. Yes, it's actually, still he's, still he's still wet. He's still wet? Oh, okay. Yeah, if you check out his little belly, if it's... You show it's him. Yeah. It's shiny it's in there. Sh right there. Oh, I see. Yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah. So if it's still shiny, you want it matte. Oh, okay. You want the acrylic to be matte before you put the top on. The top yeah. coat on. 
Yeah, or it'll smudge and smear. How cute is that? I don't know which one's my favorite. Oh, I think all 10 are. Really cute. Okay. So, Miss mm -hmm. Deb, you also have some some designs that you're going to also show mm -hmm. that are simple and in in um for for simple. you know the novice to do, right? Yes. Okay. So, thanks, Miss Kim. Thank you. So, we're actually going to flip the script, and we are going to have Miss Deb demonstrate some nail um, art on Miss Kim. Okay. So maybe Yay. they could flip so that she can use the side. Yeah. Yep. Um, it's a nail Um, it's quick dry topical. It is serious business quick dry. <laughs> I need a little musical chairs. Yeah. I was like, shouldn't the stream be paused so that she can get the nails off of her? No. No. No, she already has. She's already ready. No, we're ready. We're ready to go. Okay, have a seat, Miss Kim. All right. Okay, so, um, Miss Deb is now taking lead position. She is getting ready to... Um, do a beautiful nail design on Miss Kim, and uh, we can't wait to see what Miss Deb has in store. All right, where's my white? Okay, here we go. So All some right. of the same tools, oh. right? Yep, in the same, same tools. In the same products. Yep, same tools. Just we're just gonna do two more colors. We're gonna do red, black, white, gray. Um, where's my brush here? I like to use a little detail brush. Oops. And we're gonna make a little skull lady. Oh, a skull lady? Yeah. Oh, yay. And you just kinda, you know, swirl the white acrylic paint on there. Right, it doesn't have to be perfect because she's a skull and she doesn't wanna be like gorgeous, right? So. There's not a beautiful, gorgeous skull in the world? Not one? Uh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe mine, but and yours. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So you're gonna you're gonna leave it like that for it to dry, and then we're gonna do one more little baby coat when we're done. And then I'm going to take. Thank you very much. A dot of red. Maybe. There we go. There we go. All right, and then we're just gonna use a sponge. I like what kind of sponge is that? It's Ms. Deb. It is um, a bath is sponge, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So when you say you can use literally tools from home, you can use tools from home. Yes, okay. a kitchen sponge works good too. You see how it's all porous, like the big holes through it. Yeah. I I Your like nails it. Look great, by the way. Thank you. I love them. Um, I like it when there's big holes in it. Sometimes you could use smaller holes. Okay, so I'm gonna just get, did I do red first? Yeah, I did. Um, I'm just gonna get some on my sponge like this and real easily just kind of dot. Just like that. So simple. All right? Almost looks like blood there. Yeah. I think that's what you well, is that what you're going for? Well, blood, oh, kind maybe. of a bloody reddish. I don't know. I kinda. guess, yeah. Maybe okay. we'll go with it. Okay. And then again, I'm gonna take some black. Okay. And then you just want to dip it in there, and then kind of like just so you make sure that you don't have too much, because you just want a little bit. Okay. And you're just gonna. Do this little number. So it kind of gives it more of a variated kind right. of little texture, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, that looks cool even just by itself. Right. What do you guys charge for stuff like this in the salon? Like, just, is it just depends on how fancy it is? Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Is there like a minimum that they should be charging once they get out there and start doing nails? It's all personal preference, I think. You know, if you're just going to do one little, you know, pumpkin on someone that only takes five minutes, then Merry Christmas. <laughs> gotcha. You know, yeah. But if you're doing detailed work that's going to take a while, then yes, I suggest 
it just you know again it's a personal preference it could start at ten dollars it could start at five dollars are we talking start about twenty dollars like per right. nail is that per nail or would that be like in addition to maybe their their feel or their usually overlay usually that's what i do okay. i do in addition to little okay kind of like um like what is it called oval Oval little, yeah, kind of teardrop, kind of like alien shape. Oh, okay. <laughs> right? You could see that on this one, like the red's not dry, so it kind of smeared a little bit, but we could go back over that and fix it. Wow, that's kind of a pointy nail there, huh? Is that mm -hmm. the new kind of shape or yes. stiletto? Stiletto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I could type, I would have them all day with those. I just would. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't type with them like that. I'd be doing something like somebody else. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you too. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. So then I, I take. I'm gonna do two little dots. Ooh, let me dip off that. Maybe two little dots here, and maybe two here. And we're gonna make like baby bones. Oh. And then maybe some like little random dots here and there. And again. <laughs> so it doesn't, I mean, I think the beautiful part about it is that it's not like cookie cutter it's not perfect right and i think that's what makes the nail art look so beautiful and and also it's hand painted right and this like anybody could really do this it's just dots and some lines really you know i mean look i'm just drawing a line with the with the daughter that's it and then some here these other little dots right here that you see they're gonna be like little baby skulls They love your bones. You they got do. good bones, Deb. You got good bones. <laughs> All right. And then. So it's dry now, huh? Yep, it's dry enough. So then you're just going to do like two black eye sockets. And you don't want them like perfect circles because they're not supposed to be perfect. Right? And then like a little, ooh, that's too big. Use the smaller side of the daughter and then you could just do like a little triangle nose kind of. And then, excuse me, I'm sorry. And then you take the side, you're gonna do like little black line all the way across. But the sides are gonna be like wider, like this. And you're gonna come in and you're just gonna go all the way across, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna slash little slashes. Right? And again, not perfect because no skull is really perfect, right? And then, this is what I like to do here. Oh wait, you know what, before I do that, let me just set this right here real quick. Woo, got a little excited. Hello. You gotta make her face ugly. Like just little. Yeah, cause right now she's super cute. Like little, um, I don't know, like little cracks in the skull kind of right but again like nothing perfect because there's you don't want her too perfect looking good. yes 
the men because we're in the cosmetology industry. She has to have great hair, right? Yeah. So we're gonna give her some gray strands. Maybe some over here. And then for dimension, we're gonna go in with black. I kind of like to do it sometimes when it's wet because you see how it, it kind of feathers it, dries it. Yep. And then just some little, some little white. We're loving all the hearts, everyone. Beautiful job, Miss Deb. It is very scary out here. I know. <laughs> and then her little neck, she needs a little neck because she looks like she's floating. There she goes. Okay, while that dries, we're just gonna put some little dots on these eyes and, or on these faces. We're gonna use a small one. You wanna kinda use the tiny one because you don't want them too big, but if it, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna put little mouse on them too, but we gotta come back for that. Oh no. <coughs> Maybe. This one's so wet, I could see it. So, so is it, is it your, is this your favorite time of year? <sighs> yeah. And Christmas, oh, I love Christmas time. So we have gonna, good Christmas stuff. So we're gonna come back with Christmas then. Okay, the next holiday. So then you just take your little brush, right? And then just give them like little, um, little teeth kind of. <laughs> those little bitties, you can't really see those, but we know they're there. And then this lady. So then you're gonna do a little, just like a little wavy blob, right? <coughs> here. Is that like a bow in her hair? It's gonna be like. Oh, maybe. Maybe one right here too. Okay, so messy, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. And then. So while we're, while Miss Kim's nails are under the fan to set up, um, are there any <coughs> tips or tricks to like keeping your tools ready so that when your next client comes in, that you don't have to, oh, excuse me, so I can go do my um, clean, do my sanitation or clean up my tools. What, how do we take care of those, those tools? You want to clean as you go because time is money, right? But, um, you have to make sure everything's sanitized too. So mm -hmm. implements always, you have to sanitize and disinfect and, but your brushes, you could clean them with brush cleaner or you could, it, sometimes it breaks down the brush a little bit. Hold on real quick. So I'm just going to put like little, oops, that's red. Just like little wavy ridges. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's a girly girl. Yeah. So Isn't it so cute? And then like, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Clean up brush? Mm -hmm. Right here. All right. So just make sure that you get any little imperfections on the side walls. It makes everyone want to um, do nail art, huh? 
Like yeah. it makes you want to mm -hmm. take the paints, get your brushes, and do some nail art. Thanks, friend. So cute. Okay, here's the pop. <coughs> Those bones are just way too cute. Aren't they cute? And so easy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ping. See how it changes? Totally. Top coat changes everything. So you may not like it before because it's dry and it's matte, but once you get that shine on there, it really brings things to life. <coughs> oh, it's so cute. That little scroll is a little. And that's it. That's wow. it. Wow. Thanks, Miss Deb. Thanks, Miss Kim. Thank you. So we can take your picture of your nail. Oh. We didn't do that one. We didn't finish. Oh, that looks great. How beautiful is that? You're holding out on us. Yeah, she had the good. She's got the good. That was so flawless. Bye. Okay, guys, thank you for coming. Um, please stay tuned. We'll let you know when our next Periscope will be. And um, thank you, ladies, for joining us today. And, thank and you. Your, all of your thank knowledge. You for having us. And all of the students that were present today for the Periscope, thank you so much. Yay. And we will see you again. Yay.